Hi, this is Pete Warren. I'm uh, going to introduce you to my first experience, basically, with the Melodyne Editor, uh, otherwise known as Melodyne DNA. Um, I received an email yesterday. I was fortunate enough to be selected as a beta tester for this product, which many of you may have as well. Um, but I was really surprised at how easy it is to use. Of course, I use Melodyne regularly. Um, so the transition into this was pretty easy, but I just want to start off by showing you a simple function. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some piano tracks uh, or a piano track from uh, its acoustic piano. What you're about to see is not MIDI, it's actually manipulating audio. Um, I want to show you how easy it is. Um, now it just so happens this part was played correctly, but we're going to assume that I want to make some changes to it. And uh, just a couple of notes here and there. and. You know what, we might make some pretty funky sounds in the process, but I want to show you how easy it is to use um, in a short video here, just because I'm pretty excited about it and can't wait to get deeper into it, but seems like to me it's about the easiest thing in the world. So let's just take a look at the computer screen real quick. You can see I've already got my window open for um, the, um, the Melodyne editor right here. And what I'm going to do is, this is just inside one of my Pro Tools files. I've got my, my piano right and left selected, so I'm going to drag it over into uh, the beta version here and you can see the simple line that showed up that's um, unanalyzed it's got a little clock now this is about a four minute piano track uh, full wave files um, so you can see it's it's chewing it up pretty fast and we're running um, outside of Pro Tools right now uh, just as standalone mode so I can experiment with it um, we'll be able to hear it through my main speakers um, what else can I tell you? We're running on an 8-core, uh, 2.8, or uh, no, it's a 2.8 yeah, machine, I believe. Uh, let's see. Uh, yep, two, two processors times 2.8 quads, so it's an 8-core, 2.8. So you can see it's chewing it up pretty fast. Um, okay, and now we've got all of a sudden it automatically, boom, it spread out all the audio. So let's just give a listen to acoustic piano here. Okay, now again, let's just listen to the first couple bars here. And let's make a change. Let's make another change. Now again, we're changing a single note without affecting the rest of the chords. That transition was a little rough, so I would assume we can go over here and pick up a modulation tool and maybe, um, let's see, how do we do that? Pitch drift, pitch modulation, probably, well, I'm trying to experiment with something I don't know how to do, but, so that sounds a little funky to me, but again, this is a beta version. Let's go back. To my original part. Let's just change that last last note and see what happens. Let's change this one too. Notice that it changed the one note but not anything else in the chord. See what happens here. So that was pretty ugly. Changing it back. And let's go a little later into the piece and find something kind of fun to mess with here. Oh, that's the chorus. Uh, right here. Okay, 
Okay, so let's see. So that was kind of a unique note that I had picked in there. Let's change that and see what happens. Yeah, obviously not good. The reason I played it the way I played it. Let's just change that note and see what happens. That suspension was not there. I just changed that one uh, on my own. Uh, we could do an undo, undo, undo. Kind of bring this thing back to normal. Oops. Obviously, still some files I've messed with. Anyway, that's a good chance for you to get a look and. Uh, feel for what uh, the new Melodyne editor, uh, a.k.a. Melodyne DNA, direct note access, looks like. I uh, hope it was worthwhile to you.